Hello, everybody. We are live on the Lamley YouTube channel. Welcome. I'm trying to fight the glare on my iPad. I'm going to try and there's we can probably do it that way. You got to have some fighting with glare when you try and put an iPad on a video. We want the iPad here because we are going Hot Wheels ID today. Thanks to our friends at Wheel Collectors. Nice to see the old boys Matt and Matt over there doing their thing. They've got the brand new mix of Hot Wheels ID. The first mix of 2021. They got it. They've got it available for sale. I will put a link down below. In the comments section, as soon as I finish this live feed, so you can go and buy yourself a set or pick the cars you want, buy those up. Uh, very, very cool cars. Kind of a cool assortment. Um, and I'm happy to do a Hot Wheels ID video for today. It's been a long time since I've done one, so I'm hoping that all of this will work. Here's what I know about Hot Wheels ID, as everyone is coming in. I'm going to keep this fairly tight, even though we are live. I will uh, make some... I will look at your comments. But um, I have heard that, you know, Hot Wheels ID, I mean, if we're being perfectly honest, I don't know all the numbers, but it's been a little bit mixed, the response to Hot Wheels ID. I think they would have liked to have seen a better response to it. But again, I don't, I'm not privy to all the details, right? But I think Mattel would have liked to have seen it a little bit bigger, you know, it was launched at Apple and Amazon and everything else. But um, I think they see it, and this is how I see it too, that this has a potential strong potential as a strong uh, collector line. And while we, we as collectors may not be all about the video games here, but being able to store and uh, archive and like do a checklist with Hot Wheels ID is kind of a cool thing. So I think, you know, I don't know exactly what the future is, but I do feel like we might see even more collector oriented castings coming out with Hot Wheels ID. And that's kind of cool. Um, and we can, you know, utilize this app. I don't, again, I've, I just opened the app, you know, I'm a collector, so I'm not pulling this up very often. I had to update it uh, before this video. So that's a little bit of the explanation. You know, Hot Wheels ID, if you're not familiar, obviously they have the, uh, on the base, they have this special chip that you can scan, which we're going to do. And then you can have the real car plus the virtual car on your, on the Hot Wheels ID game. Um, here's an old one. I brought this out with the Batmobile. By the lighting, gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this lighting. There we go. Better. Still a little shadowy. Da, da, da. You're fighting glare. That's what you get. Um. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and open these up. I've got my box opener, and it looks like you know from what I can tell, this mix of six has been released in kind of pairs of two. We got two Batmobiles, two JDM and two European models. So I'm gonna, because there's some new castings here, I'm gonna put those towards the back, move JD over here, and we're gonna start with these Batmobiles. And we'll uh, start with the Justice League Batmobile. I have no idea, and I'm sure this question will be asked, what the availability will be in these. I know Hobby has them. So if it's not wheel collectors, some of your other favorite hobby dealers might have it. Um, but I don't know if we're going to see these at Walmart. I know we've seen some Hot Wheels ID at Walmart. Obviously, Target carries them. Um, but um, I have no idea what the future is of the line from a retail perspective. But you can get these, obviously, from Hobby. All right. Now, what i got to do is i got to make sure that we have this thing ready to go. The portal is on. Let's hope. I'm going to show you the car for a second here. So this one is the, what, Justice League. So it's got kind of a Justice League look to it, right? It's kind of the graffiti look, which is kind of cool. I don't know my Batman comics very well, so it looks like the Joker may have gotten a ha uh, his hands on this one, or the Riddler. Oh, Joker's. Yeah, there's the Joker other on the top. So it's very, very cool. Obviously, plastic base for this one because it's got to be clear. And the Hot Wheels ID special plastic rims because these have to be track friendly. So let's see if this is working. There it is. Boom. Okay, so now we can have a look at it, what it looks like virtually. So I'm doing this live. I can't cut to the screen. I guess I could probably find a way to do that. But uh, obviously it looks exactly the same. I really think it's cool how they've replicated the cars from a, from a real standpoint and a virtual standpoint. So we're going to 
hit continue on that one. It's now in the garage. We'll put that over here. All right, so Batmobiles. We have the second version. This is the first version of the TV Batmobile. And I mean, our first version for Hot Wheels ID, right? There's a billion of them. Oh, and then we had the the TV Batmobile from, uh, right? They, they put it as a uh, chase model last year, right? Man, I think I have that one somewhere. Should we open that? You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Before we do that, I know I have it. Let's see. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. I have it as something that I've been meaning to open. So just give me one second to find it. This is what live is about, right? Aha. Boom. There we go. I have not opened this one yet. So this was a chase model. I think the chases are continuing this year. By the way, as you see like a particular casting show up as a Hot Wheel ID model, you can start feeling pretty secure that you're going to see this as a chase model at some point. I don't know if it'll be this year. So this is what the Hot Wheel ID chase models look like, right? And uh, let's just open it up. Let's see if it will work. I found a few of these in my travels, so I have not put this one in my garage. It's obviously different than the other one. So let's put it in and see if it shows up. Boom. There it is. Good. Now I have two Batmobiles in the garage. Show that one real quickly. Which is kind of cool. Let that one go. Put this one over here. Glad I remembered. And now let's see if I've got that. We can find the other one. I don't have all the ID cars in here. I have a fair amount of them. Most of them. There it is. So there's the other one right there. Two. And let's add this one. So this one is blue. Blue with yellow trim. Kind of cool. Oh, this one. Actually, this is awesome. Do you see the difference? Look at the Batman logo on this one classic Batman logo. This one has that old classic cartoon like version, like -na 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 -na, whatever. Uh, I apologize for that. I apologize for that. That was terrible, right? But the deco is cool. Kind of a more cartoony classic, even though I don't know if they had the Batmobile like this, but I see this logo like here, this will not work, but do 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 whatever. Do 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 Okay, here showing up. There it is. In blue. Look at that logo. Can I pinch it in? I can't. That looks cool. I like that one. All right. So three Batmobiles open today. We're, we're done with those. Let's go to the JDM stuff, right? So track manga, track manga. That's the first time we've seen this one as a Hot Wheels ID. So this is another one that I would imagine if it's not this year, it'll be sometime we'll see this as a chase model um, in the basic range. You're always so entertaining in your videos. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. You guys should go back to like my very first video and um, John, how much did you pay? You know, I don't know. These were sent to me so I could show them to you. So uh, by wheel collectors. So you'll have to go and compare their prices with others. And, I, and I'm and i assuming retail will be exactly what you find at like Target or Walmart right now. Anyway, you should go um, back to, like I said, to the uh, my first video ever. And it's like, oh, hello, everybody. You, when you do these videos, here's my little advice. You have to speak more animated than you think. If you think you're just talking normal, you sound bored. So you have to push it up several notches. That's what I've learned. All right. Track manga. This is cool art. Look at that. This is cool. I'm trying to think what this theme is. Hot Wheels ID on the back. This is a cool cast. I mean, I, I like the tuned and the regular better, but this one kind of works. They've obviously had to make it. Oh, look. Look, 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 look. Or no, maybe not. Is that? See, it seemed like it was adjustable. Maybe it's not. 
Oh, it is. Look. So you can push it down. And then if you want to put it for the track, you can click it back up. That's cool. See? They are making these a little bit more collector friendly. All right. Let's put it in. Uh-oh. Is it reading? Let's see it continue. There we go. You know, I'm going to take this box. I'm going to put this up like this so you guys can see the the portal. There it is. Looking nice. That art is cool. Oh, there we go. Not bad track manga. And then look at this one. This one's very cool. Nissan Fair Lady Z. I believe we'll have to look and see what exact casting this is. Um, obviously, it's based on the uh, Junamai casting, which I think is based on his car. This is not the... Uh, I don't think this is the... The Sung Kang, the... Um, whatever they call that one, I don't remember. I have to go and look. Here, you know what? I've got this right here. Hold on. So we have this one, which was, you know, in car culture a while ago. This one has the proper Z. This is the casting is Datsun 240Z, custom Datsun 240Z. So is it that one? I don't think it is. No, maybe it is. Because then there's also this one. This is the one it is which is the Nissan Fair Lady Z, which makes sense. All right, so this is based on this one, um, which we've seen in, in, in standard, you know, basic lines and in premium. This was from Japan Historics. So let's pull that out. And this one has, this one has, so we had kind of the shark nose. We had that one that was kind of lifted. Then we had it low, you know, the, the heavier, and this one's kind of a little bit of both, um, it appears. I'm trying to see if it's adjustable. It's, it's not. Let me get it in focus here. So it's kind of a little bit... It's a little different. I don't know. Is that... No, I was wondering if it is... A, I've got it off camera because I'm just trying to... No, it's not adjustable. I was just trying to see if it was adjustable because it looks a little different. But let's see what it looks like. That nose just looks slightly different. They probably didn't make it track compatible. Yeah, it's got the Skyline taillights. Looking nice with this kind of Spectre Flame yellow. So let's put that in. Try it again. There we go. Nissan Fair Lady Z. Yeah, they've got the proper nose in the art here. There is a difference between the metal and the plastic base splitter. Yes, that's true. So this one, this one has a kind of its own nose, but I think it's it's more roughly based on the basic version of this car. Looking pretty good, right? All right, put that. Right there. All right, now let's go European. Both two new castings, one coming from Basic, the other coming from Premium. Now they're both Hot Wheels ID models, so you can call them what you want to call them. If you want to call them Basic, you can. They're obviously not going to have metal bases, and they're obviously not going to have real riders. And we'll talk about the RS200, but you know they they'll take these castings from anywhere. Um, so. And they can just convert them into Hot Wheels ID castings. This is the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. I'll put that right here. We'll have a look at the model. Beautiful Spectre Flame, kind of candy, apple red. Nice and just straightforward plain. You've got the headlights and the Lamborghini badge up front. Hot Wheel ID on the back, or on the top. And then the taillight detailing on the back. Could have been cool to do these lines here, but that's okay. 
red line tires, black rims, looking good. Let's put it in. Hello, hello, looking nice. I like that one, a lot. I don't know which one. I really like the Z, but I like I think just in terms of pure looks, I think I'm going with the Lamborghini. Oh, look, see if we let it freeze, we can get the we can get kind of those close-ups which look kind of cool. That looks nice. I honestly, it's just like I look at these and they are cool. I just don't know what their future is. I just don't know. And I hope they continue. And I but I do think we as collectors, we've got to we've got to help out, right? And I I mean I mean help out like buy them if you want them right don't buy them if you don't want them but but it's like there's enough now these castings that are versions of castings i collect so like the z i collect every version so i'll keep that one so far i mean this is only the second rs200 right but uh, i think there's one in the um in team transport which i don't have yet but um this one is cool so yes this is based on the car culture model Let's see if i can find it Yep. Right there. We'll look at that real quick. So here's the here's this version. It has that kind of additional metal piece up at the top. It looks like this Hot Wheels ID version does too. We'll look at them both here. Let's pull it out. I've been keeping my eyes peeled for the Falcon Mustang. That one is awesome. I know so many love that particular version. I th I have heard of Hot Wheels ID showing up at Dollar Trees for a buck. And I have heard people finding that one and the McLaren for a dollar. So check your Dollar Trees. All right, so here is the premium again with the real riders, with the metal base. And here is the Hot Wheels ID with the plastic wheels and the obvious plastic clear base. I wonder if we'll see this one come to basic. Maybe that's one of the reasons they were able to do it. But everything else, if I can hold these correctly, everything else looks the same. And casting wise. So they really just went with the, uh, and I think even the nose. Nose looks the same too, doesn't it? So they I mean, maybe this is already track compatible, but they have made this one just exactly as is. And I like it. I like it. All right. Let's uh, hit continue. And let's put this one in the garage. Here it comes. <whistles> Daredevils. Hate the deco. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's cool. It says daredevils and on the, you know, on the wheels and everything. But I mean, the deck, I don't know. Maybe I like, I just don't like that daredevils on the side. I like kind of like the striping style that they've done here. But, um, Manson's name is on this one. It's cool to see your name on there, Manson. I like, I mean, I like, I, you know, maybe we'll see another, maybe this one will be a Hot Wheels ID chase one of these days and we'll see it in basic. Who knows? I have no idea. See, from that angle, I like it. This striping here, I think that's cool. This part, just get rid of that and just leave that stripe right there. Manson, Fearless. I'm trying to see who, any other names there. Emmer. I don't, I'm sure that's someone else. I don't know who that is. There we go, guys. That is the latest batch of Hot Wheels ID. What do you guys think? RS200, I really like. I think my favorite... From this mix, I would say is the Lamborghini, but I'm happy with the RS200, I'm happy with the Z, I think the Batmobile looks cool with its more cartoony version, so I'm game, I'm game, there's my garage, let's see if I can go into my garage now, there you go, there's all the new stuff right there, those six, and then I've got the uh, Chase Batmobile that I added as well, there's our Falcon Mustang, my favorite ID model remains the McLaren Senna. That is still my favorite. So, um, you guys tell me what you think. We're at 20 minutes. I think we'll, we'll quit it there. By the way, 
I filmed another outdoor unboxing tomorrow. Today it might be tomorrow. It's Matchbox. It's pretty good. And then I've got some Match some Hot Wheels Premium coming up too. Thank you everybody for watching. I want to know which ones are your favorite. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think of Hot Wheels ID. Tell me what you think of where this direction is going, where you'd like to see. I know that uh, the Hot Wheels ID folks like to see what we talk about. So leave some comments down below and say, um, this is what I'd like to see Hot Wheels ID become as a collector. And I think they would listen to you. I promise you. All right, guys. Fun chatting with you. More tomorrow. Bye.